What's up guys? It's Talking Spirits, Laughing with Ghosts. I'm here to do your monthly readings. This is going to be for Earth signs, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I know on the Water Signs video I said that I was going to do all signs, but the video is just already like 20 minutes long, so we're going to break them up into four videos, all right? So first up is Taurus. What do we have going on for Taurus for the month of June 2019? All right, Taurus. Right off the bat, okay, you guys have the Four of Swords, okay? With the Four of Swords, this is a retreat and, re, you know, rest, recovery, renewal, things like that, right? So for the month of June, you guys are going to be needing a lot of rest. Um, you have the Three of Wands that come into play here. So with the Three of Wands, um, this is about teamwork travel, things like that. I think that you guys are going to need to rest up for something that's going to be coming into play here as far as teamwork goes, maybe collaborations, things like that. Um, you have the Queen of Swords here. With the Queen of Swords, this is basically saying that you are self-sufficient. You can do what it is that you want to do if you guys are doubting that Taurus, whatever it is that you guys are wanting to do with your life, okay? You guys are very self-sufficient in this um, or somebody that's coming into your life is going to be saying, hey, listen, get it together, blah, 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 right? You have the star card that comes out as well, okay? With the star card, I I love the star card. This is an Aquarius. Um, and the star card is, you know, basically saying that there is hope. You're going to have inner clarity. There's could be miracles that's coming in. Have some faith, okay? So... Whatever it is that's going on, if you guys are doubting yourself, have a little bit of faith in yourselves on what it is that you guys are wanting to accomplish here. Um, and I think with the rest, I think that this is where it's all going to come in. Like, you guys need this rest to get through the month of June, right? Because um, you guys are, like, exhausted. I want to yawn. So, oh, excuse me. So, with the Four of Cups coming into play here, the Four of Cups, blah, blah, four of Cups is here to say... That this is um, surprises that could be coming in, gifts that are coming in, you know, there's uh, feelings that are unfulfilled to you. Certain things, I feel like you guys are just kind of like reflecting and things like that, but then you guys have some new things that are coming into you. And I feel like this is more internally, um, if that makes sense. You have the Ace of Swords right after that, and this is coming up with new ideas. Um, you could be having a surgery or somebody is going to be having a surgery um, this month, okay, the Ace of Swords is kind of telling you that, so for some of you, you could be having a surgery, this is all about, gosh, guys, Taurus, for you guys in the month of June, this is all about mental clarity and working on yourself, um, to really figure out what it is, what you want to do with your life, or how you want to move forward, on the outside here, you have the Nine of Swords, okay, and with the Nine of Swords, this is saying that you guys have anxiety, you guys are going through a depression, you know, whatever that may may be, it's all in the mind. Excuse me, now I have the hiccups. Oh my God, I'm exhausted. Taurus, you guys are exhausting the snot out of me. So you guys are really up in your head. You guys are depressed on whatever it is that you guys are going through. You're not feeling like you're good enough and things like that, whatever it may be. This is why the rest comes in, in the rejuvenation and the star card. Know that there's hope to get through all this nonsense, okay? You have the Ace of Pentacles also. So you guys are going to be coming into a new job, a raise, a promotion, new income that you guys have coming in. Maybe you guys have lost your job and you're just like, oh my God, I'm going broke or whatever it may be and I can't pay my bills. You guys have a new job coming in. We need to get your mental state prepared for this so you guys can lift yourself back up, okay, Taurus? So, there you go, Taurus. All right, Virgos. What do we have going on for Virgos for June 2019? Ugh, I cannot shuffle these cards. I cannot shuffle these cards. Virgos, June 2019. Here we go, Virgos. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <clears throat> mm. 
Okay. Virgos, you guys have the Two of Wands that comes out. And the Two of Wands is basically saying you're waiting for results. You need to make a choice. Okay? Or you guys, some of you are going to be traveling. There's a choice that needs to be made here. What kind of choice do we have to be made? Well, we have the Eight of Pentacles that comes out. All right? This is enjoying your employment. This is mastering your craft. Okay? This is all about... Um, you know, education, engagement, things like that, right? So you guys need to make a decision on what it is you guys are wanting to do as far as your job, right? You have the high priestess that comes out right next to that. There is secrets that could be hidden from you or you're hiding secrets. Um, you need to use your intuition and trust yourself. You already know what you want to do, right? So you need to make this decision. Use your intuition and make this decision. Should I stay? Should I go? Right? Um, also we have the six of wands here. Okay. With the six of wands coming into place, uh, this is all about self-defense, you know, protecting yourself against competition. So some of you guys are feeling like maybe people are copying you and what you're doing. Um, maybe you feel like you're going to lose your job because of somebody, maybe they're taking the credit for you. Um, whatever the case may be for some of you guys, Virgos, you guys are like going through this com competition type of thing, right? You just feel like people are maybe, you know, trying to go after your job or, or whatever the case may be. Okay. You also have the Ace of Cups that comes in. So for some of you, there's going to be you know, possibly a new baby coming into the picture, a new relationship. There could be a proposal, marriage, things like that, right? Um, so with the Ace of Cups, this is saying for some of you, listen, you're going to be getting into that relationship that you want to. You're going to be getting married. You're going to have a baby, things like that, right? I love that. I love that with the Ace of Cups, okay? Queen of Swords coming in. With the Queen of Swords coming in, Queen of Swords is saying, listen, I am self-sufficient person. I can do the job that needs to be done. I'm okay with this, okay? Or maybe you guys are in a relationship where you already have, you know, a child. You don't want to leave that relationship or whatever. You can do it on your own. You are a self-sufficient person. You can do it on your own. So stop thinking that you need somebody um, and stay with them for the wrong reasons, right? So for you guys uh virgos listen you guys can do this you guys can work through this and you can do this so don't don't let anybody you know take your credibility right you also have the five of swords that comes into play here and with the five of swords this is bullies this is theft um this could be an abusive relationship this is why i brought this up in here because maybe you guys are in an abusive relationship you're afraid to leave um for whatever reason i think it might be because of finances Okay, so you guys have a decision to make. So some of you have a decision to make here about this relationship, all right? Know that you can move forward into a new relationship, but you have to end, you know, what is not serving your highest good. Okay, Virgos? In the end, you guys have the justice card that comes out, okay? So this is going to be the truth comes out. So whatever it is, you guys are going to be finding the truth. The truth is going to be coming out in this situation, okay? It is going to be a win-win for you. You may not see it as the end result, but eventually you will see this is better for me, right? So for Virgos, the truth is coming out of whatever it is, all right? So Virgos, it's going to be a little bit of a tough month for you, but it's going to be for the best, Okay, Capricorn. Try to make these, try to go a little bit quicker because the last one was like 20 minutes. Uh, Capricorn, okay. June 2019, what do we have going on for Capricorn? All right, Capricorn. Page of Wands. I love the Page of Wands because she's like holding Sage. And I don't know. I just love that card. <clears throat> Capricorn. All right. Okay. Capricorn, you guys right off the bat have the Page of Wands coming out. And what is the Page of Wands telling us? The Page of Wands is telling us that you have a new project or creative idea that's going to be coming into play for you guys. Okay. You have the Ace of Pentacles. 
I love the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new job, a raise, promotion, investment, new income. So this new idea is going to bring you guys a new job, a new income. All right. So make sure you guys are paying attention. You have the devil card come out. All right. And with the devil, this could be greed, envy, material things, obsession. Okay. Addiction. So make sure that you guys are Capricorn, that you guys are not being addicted to anything. Watch that. Okay. Interception. Don't get obsessed with this new thing okay watch it watch it because you have the eight of swords that comes in right after that all right the eight of swords is telling us um that this is self-imposed restrictions isolation and imprisonment so you guys are going to be obsessed you guys are going to become obsessed or somebody's going to be come obsessed whatever you can't let it go the five of cups is coming into play right after that this is lost regret um, you're feeling abandoned or unloved. I feel like people are going to be coming in and taking advantage and using you, Capricorn. All right, you have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is, you know, saying this is a resourceful person. You need to be this resourceful person. Don't make dumb decisions. Don't let people, um, you know, use you for things because you have the Knight of Pentacles to the right. And with the Knight of Pentacles... This is saying, listen, you need to have patience and you need to have hard work, but don't obsess about it and stress about it to where maybe you guys are turning to alcohol or whatever, or you're spending too much, you know, things like that, or you start, you know, eating your feelings or whatever because you guys are stressed out, okay? So you guys are going to have some big changes coming in. It is going to take a lot of hard work and dedication, but don't obsess over it and stress, okay? Now, you guys also have the strength card that's coming in play here, okay, to end this. So with the strength card, this is to have the courage to get through it. This is all about self-love, right? So with the strength card coming in, know that you can get through this, but don't fall into this obsessed, like whatever it is, don't be like obsessed over that thought, right? Like work through it. It's going to take hard work. It's going to take some time to get to where you want to be, uh, if that makes sense, Capricorn. And I feel like... I just feel like there's going to be some people that are um, going to be wanting to use you. So listen, I would guard this idea. I wouldn't really tell anybody about it and kind of work on it in quiet, whatever it may be. Um, because I feel like there's going to be some greed coming here and, and people are either going to copy you or they're going to like want your money, right? So Capricorn for the month of June, whatever it is that you guys are going through, okay, so there people are going to be using you for things this month for whatever reason. You guys are going to be coming into money. Um, and you guys are also going to be kind of battling with your emotions and your feelings as well. So make sure that you guys watch out for that Capricorn. Okay. So there you go. That was my earth signs. All right. So leave a comment below. Let me know. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And you guys have a wonderful day.